What's up, brother? Like and subscribe to Wolski. The 2x2 is one of the most iconic base designs in Rust. For me, and I'm sure for many other people, our first wipes were filled with 2x2s. And recently, I haven't seen too many 2x2 designs that keep up with current metas. And that's where I got my inspiration for this base, the Fortress. The Fortress is a triple bunker 2x2, with a mini mountain roof, tons of storage, a meta funnel and compound, and much, much more. If you guys like the base and want to support me, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps so much more than you know. And as always, if you guys have any issues while building the base, make sure to join my Discord where I will be happy to help you. Now let's take a tour of the fortress. Starting off, we got two disconnectable externals. Very standard. And you've also got two external TCs, seven rockets each to open these. Base is symmetrical on two sides, so it's the exact same thing on the other side. So heading in through our front door, we've got an airlock, and then these really nice windows allow you to see all around your base. Also got these nice Patrico angles. Perfect for seeing people once they've reached your compound. Heading through the double door, you've got some more Patrico peaks. You can also peek up onto your funnel from here. Which is really nice. Here you've got a double chain link turret looking directly at one of your freehand bunkers along with a ton of shotgun traps. Each of your freehand bunkers has two large boxes and a battery in it. And they're on opposite sides of the base so they are not splashable. Heading through our funnel, got some more Patrico peaks back into where our bunker is. This would be really nice if you were getting raided through compound doors. You just hold right here and wait for them to come in. Also got some nice large furnaces. You can loot them through here. And then right here, you've got your bedroom and breach peak module. Which has six turrets on them each. Some more Patrico peaks. Got some turrets up here, which are double chain linked. So if this is broken, you're going to have a double chain link turret on each side. And then trying to get through, you're going to have to deal with a lot more turrets. Trying to online raid this base is just going to be a giant headache. Heading into our breach peak, you can see right outside our compound and also straight at our external, and also peek back into the base in the event that it was cored out. We've also got some more bedrooms over here. Compound is completely symmetrical. So you've got another bunker over here, and all the same stuff that you saw before. Heading through our front door, We've got a bedroom and some really nice head glitches looking into our compound and towards our furnace wall. Then jumping up, we've got a single door with some nice heli peaks. We've also got some furnaces in here and plenty of garage door spam. Heading into our main 2x2, we have a vending machine bunker as well as our way down to core. Now when you're playing, you'll keep this bunker like this. When you log off, you can seal it with sheet metal. There's no point in making it armored because the rest of the stuff is upgraded to armored and it is the same price to go through doors as it is through the roof. As you can see, your core has lots of storage, especially if you have the DLC. And this is your main TC upkeep. Very reasonable for a small group of friends. To break your bunker, you'll just soft set out this wooden foundation and then you can replace it and just put some stairs on top and you are good to go. Got some more storage up here, plenty of room for deployables. Base is pretty much symmetrical on both sides, except your jump ups are on opposite sides. The mobility in this base is great because you can go from the front door to either side of the 2x2 two two pretty quickly. You can also get straight up to the roof very quickly because the jump up is right here. You can also defend from this floor pretty much entirely. You've got those nice breach peaks as well as these peaks holding your front door and your drop down from roof. Also got plenty of respawns here and you can do that on both sides. You can also hop in one of these roof retake modules which are also bedrooms and peek out this window which usually has glass over it and then also retake your roof. And there's one of those on either side of the base. Heading up to the roof, got two chain link turrets, two bedrooms, and two non-chain link turrets, and 
unlimited angles looking around your funnel and your compound. Plenty of great angles for both near and far. You can also close your bunkers if they're left open. These bedrooms have one of my favorite peaks on them. This right here is a really safe peak and it looks directly at your compound walls. So if those are breached, you have a really nice tight angle watching that whole area while they try and deal with those chain link turrets. You've also got four waterfalls down under your compound, which make rotation even easier. But anyway, now that you've seen it, let's learn how to build it. So this is the footprint of the base, just to give you guys an idea of what you're getting yourselves into. The way I'm doing this tutorial is I'm going to be building everything out of stone, but once a section is completed, I'll be upgrading it to metal. So it's very clear what is being built in each section, so you guys don't get confused. I saw this idea from Spinky, and I thought it was really smart, so I decided to give it a try myself. And as always, if you guys have any issues while building the base, make sure to join my Discord, where I will be happy to help you.
For the freehand bunkers, I'll be using the Basu lineup. This method is a foolproof way to make a really tight freehand bunker. This is really important for placing the foundations around it, so I highly recommend you follow his video, the link to which will be in the description.